The Lockheed XP-49 was an experimental American twin-engine fighter aircraft developed as an advanced derivative of the P-38 Lightning. Conceived to meet United States Army Air Corps Proposal 39775, issued on March 11, 1939, the XP-49 was intended as a high-altitude interceptor with significantly improved performance. Lockheed initially designated the aircraft Model 222, later changed to Model 522. The project centered on integrating the new Pratt & Whitney X-1800 SA-2G XH-2600 liquid-cooled 24-cylinder engines, each rated at 2,000 to 2,200 horsepower and paired with turbo superchargers. Early studies also considered the Wright R2160 Tornado, a radical 42-cylinder engine expected to produce 2,300 horsepower and propel the aircraft to over 800 kilometers per hour, 500 miles per hour. The XP-49 design retained the P-38's distinct, distinctive twin-boom configuration, but incorporated major refinements, including a pressurized cockpit, enlarged fuel tanks for extended range, and an armament of two 20mm cannons and 4.50 caliber machine guns. Development was slow due to engine availability problems and Lockheed's commitments to P-38 production and other projects like the XP-58. With delays mounting, the Army approved replacing the X-1800 with the Continental 41430-911 engines, rated at 1,540 horsepower. This downgrade reduced projected performance. Construction of the prototype, Serial 403055, began in 1940 but was not completed until April 1942. Ground tests revealed reliability issues, and its first flight, piloted by Joe Towle, took place on November 14, 1942. The XP-49's testing history was troubled. On January 1, 1943, it made a forced landing at Muroc Army Airfield due to simultaneous hydraulic and electrical failures. Repairs introduced taller vertical fins and improved fuel tanks, but subsequent flights showed disappointing performance, with a top speed of only about 653 kilometers per hour, 405 miles per hour. Compared to upgraded P-38 variants like the P-38J, the XP-49 offered no significant advantage and suffered from unreliable engines and persistent mechanical faults. By mid-1943, the Army lost interest, focusing on proven fighters and emerging jet-powered aircraft. The XP-49 was sent to Wright Field for further evaluation but flew rarely. It was placed in storage late in World War II and scrapped in 1946 after being used for ground impact tests simulating crash landings. Although it never entered production, the XP-49 represented Lockheed's effort to push piston engine fighter design to its limits. Its development provided valuable data on pressurization systems, high altitude flight, and advanced aerodynamics, influencing later designs. Today, the XP-49 is remembered as an ambitious but ultimately impractical step between the P-38 Lightning and the jet age, symbolizing the technological transition of World War II aviation.